Margot Wolk was a 95-year-old woman, living a quiet life in Germany, when she decided to reveal a secret she had kept for more than 60 years. In a 2013 birthday interview with a local newspaper, she revealed she had been a food taster for Adolf Hitler. She and 14 other women were forced to eat his food to test it for poison during the final years of World War II. We had to eat it all up, she told the German TV station RBB in 2014. Then we had to wait an hour, and every time we were frightened that we were going to be ill. We used to cry like dogs because we were so glad to have survived. Forced to eat Wolk was a 24-year-old secretary when, in 1941, she moved to her mother-in-law's house in the East Prussian town of Grosseparch, now parks in northern Poland. The town was less than 3 kilometers from Wolfschanze, or the Wolf Slayer. Hitler's top-secret Eastern Front headquarters. Rumors were circulating that the Allies planned to poison the dictator, and not long after her arrival, Wolk was told by the local mayor that she was one of 15 women recruited by the paramilitary SS to become a formal food taster. Every day, the women would sample meals that had been prepared for the dictator and then wait to see if there were any side effects. There was never meat because Hitler was a vegetarian, Wolk told the German language news site Spiegel Online in 2013. The food was good, very good, but we couldn't enjoy it. When the women deemed that the food was safe, it was taken in crates to the dictator, who Wolk never met. Revealing the past Wolk was the only one of the 15 food tasters to survive World War II. She told German media that in 1944, as the Soviet army approached, a German lieutenant took her aside and put her on a train to Berlin. After the war ended, the same lieutenant told her that the other 14 food tasters had been killed by the Soviet soldiers. It took decades for Wolk to speak publicly about her wartime experience. I just wanted to say what happened there, she told Spiegel Online in 2013. That Hitler was a really repugnant man. And a pig. Innocent or guilty? Infographic, the novel won Italy's Premio Campiello Literary Prize last year. Supplied, Simon and Schuster, in 2014, the novelist Rosella Postorino was reading an Italian newspaper when she came across a small article about Wolk and she was transfixed. Her story was an obsession to me, and I had to ask myself why? She said. Postorino said she was fascinated by the moral dilemma that Wolk had found herself in. While the young German secretary did not choose to work for Hitler, by tasting his food for him, Postorino said she became a sort of accomplice to the dictator. She wasn't a Nazi, but every day, three times a day, 
she risked her life to save Hitler's life, she said. I think the most important question for me was, what would I have done, if I had been in her shoes? Postorino wanted to interview Wolk, and made efforts to track her down, but by the time she found her address in Berlin, the elderly woman had died. But Postorino's obsession with the story would not go away and she started to write a novel based on Wolk's experiences. Worried that she had not had a chance to speak to the subject herself, she changed the character's name to Rosa, Postorino's own birth name. In Postorino's book, Rosa is a vibrant and conflicted young woman, desperately missing her German husband serving in the war, and skeptical of her new job, and the women around her. By changing Wolk's name to her own, Postorino said she gave herself an opportunity to explore how she would have behaved, had she been caught up in the same moment in history. I've tried to imagine my fear, my terror, my hunger, my desires, and my bad behavior too, she said. Her novel, At the Wolf's Table, has already been a bestseller in Europe and is Postorino's first novel to be translated into English. The author said the success of the novel can be attributed to the fact that it tells the story of a normal person in the midst of a moral crisis. We cannot ask everyone to be a hero, and I wanted to tell the story of an ordinary woman, she said. Sorry, this video has expired video, the Nazi cash that could pin Hitler's missing officers, ABC News, at the Wolf's Table is out through Simon & Schuster.